Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. I'm broadcasting from the road today. I've uh, been very busy getting ready to play Warp Tour on July 12th in the Boston area. So if you're in the area, Massachusetts, New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island area, come on down. Uh, I'm going to be playing in Mansfield. going to be in the Ernie Ball tent. going to be jamming out for you guys. And I'm going to be hanging out, showing some guitars, and doing some talks. So if you want to ask me some questions, come on down. I can answer anything for you. We'll hang out. We'll have fun then. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a full guitar shop setup. This stuff is very important when you're trying to learn to play tight or you're trying to create a tight tone for your sound. All this stuff plays a part in the ultimate quest for guitar tone. And I'm going to be showing you guys all this on a beautiful brand new Majesty guitar from John Petrucci, one of his signature models through Anyball Music Man. And this thing is beautiful. So, if you guys own one of these guitars, it's going to be a great video, so you're going to know how to do a full setup on these guitars. If you don't own one of these, it's still useful information. This stuff goes for almost any guitar out on the market, any electric guitars, like classical guitars, acoustic guitars, and stuff like that. It's going to be a little different. You know, I'll make a new video to go how to do those guitars as well, but right now let's focus on you know, the main instrument of electric guitar. First thing you want to do is set up a level table to work on. I use a case. Then of course pull your guitar out. Then you want all the tools that you're going to need to do the setup. We got the new cradle tune from Ernie Ball, the peg winder from Ernie Ball, the musician tool case, and new strings, all Ernie Ball's accessories and strings. You need a brush for the dust, a piece of soft wood so you don't scratch the guitar, and polishing cloths. The Ernie Ball set of strings that I'm using are the seven string slinkies, um, the cobalt strings, 11 to 58. Great strings, been using them forever. All right, now that we got the guitar on a level table, we want to get it secure and set on the table so it won't move. So we got the cradle tune hooked to the headstock of the guitar. A couple rags underneath, one underneath the body, one underneath the headstock, so we know it's not going anywhere. Now we want to slacken the strings. You want to take the piece of wood, put it underneath the bridge, so it's propping it up. I don't like to let the springs pull tension down on the bridge, as it can leave an indentation on the body itself. Make sure to wiggle the piece of wood so you know that it's secure to the body. Make sure the strings are slacked. Now you need to make sure you unlock the tuners so you don't remove the strings while they still have some tension left on them. Take the peg winder and make sure you relieve any tension that's left on any of the strings before you cut them. You never want to cut a string with tension against it. Make sure that they're slacked and then take the earn ball pliers or cutters, wire cutters and remove all the old strings. Unravel what's left from the headstock and pull the rest of the string through the body. Always try to cut in the middle. You don't want small pieces of wire laying around. Now that we have the strings off, we can start cleaning what we can that we couldn't before. Take the brush, get in between the pegs, get in between the threats themselves in between the pickups, get any dead skin or dust or anything between the bridge you can, the knobs. Get everything out of there. Now let's set up our strings, make sure they're organized and in the right order. You don't want to put the wrong string on the wrong peg. Now we want to start feeding the strings through the body, as it's a string through body. Make sure you pull the string through the body and through the saddle of the bridge. Put it through the correct peg. I like to do it horizontally, I don't like to do it vertically. That way I know I get a good curve to the string. Make sure you pull it through enough a couple inches past the headstock so you don't put too much wrappings on it. Start tensioning the string, but not all the way. Just enough to make sure the string is not going anywhere and it's staying in the nut. At this point, once all the strings are on, you want to make sure you take away any of the excess string that you don't need. 
You don't need it flapping around scratching the guitar. Now remove the piece of wood and put the tension back on the strings. Now you want to tune it to the tuning that you're using, whether it be standard or drop C or A. Then you want to take your Phillips head screwdriver that comes with your kit and you want to make sure that the floating bridge is level with the guitar body. You don't want it pulling forward or recessing into the body. If you tighten the screws for the springs, the bridge will recess into the body. If you loosen the screws, it will pull up on the bridge. You want to make sure that the bridge is level and equal tension on both sides. Now you want to adjust the truss rod. If you have a bow, you want to tighten the truss rod. If you have reverse bow, you want to loosen the truss rod. On this one, we have the turnstile. It doesn't have the nut and it doesn't have the Allen key. If you push forward on the turnstile, it's going to add tension to the truss rod and pull the neck down. If you pull backwards or loosen the turnstile, it's going to add relief to the neck and pull up. Now we're ready to adjust the string height and the pickup height. You're going to need the Allen key and you're going to need the ruler that comes with your toolkit. We're going to measure at the first fret and then we're going to measure at the twelfth fret for the string height. And then for the pickups we're going to measure on both the low and the high E. I like to do 1 32nd of an inch for the low E and 1 64th for the high E at the first fret. Now at the twelfth fret I like to do three or four thirty seconds of an inch on the low E and three or two thirty seconds on the high E. To adjust the string height you want to take the Allen key and if you tighten the peg at the bridge you're going to recess the bridge into the body and lower the action. If you loosen the peg you're going to raise the action but you don't want to loosen it too much because the action will become unplayable and you don't want to tighten it too much or you're going to start to get fret buzz. Now we're ready to adjust the pickups once the action is set. I like to do on the bridge pickup Four thirty sec I mean three thirty seconds of an inch, I'm sorry, on the bottom E, and three thirty seconds of an inch on the high E. On the neck pickup, I like to do four thirty seconds on the high E and four thirty seconds on the low E. You want to make sure the neck is lower than the bridge or you'll have phase issues. To lower a pickup, you need to tension both sides of each screw. Just remember the the righty tighty lefty loosey. Now we want to retune. And now we want to make sure we stretch the strings because we know if we just tune and don't stretch that it's going to keep going out of tune. Then, once you stretch and retune to your standard pitch, you want to check the intonation. It's supposed to match the harmonics at the 12th fret, and I like to add the 24th fret, just for extra measure. Now after that, you want to make sure you re-tighten the locking tuners, so when you use the bridge, it doesn't go out of tune. And now, we can use the Ernie Ball instrument polish, or any other polish that you may have, and clean the instrument. So any fingerprints that you have on the body from working on it, you can now remove all that and have a nice shiny intonated tuned guitar. No more rusty strings. I hope this helped a lot of you. I know that it took me a long time to learn what I've taught you today.